I'm Charles Clover. Uh, I'm the author of The End of the Line, the book and the film. And uh, I've just come out of the uh, debate on bluefin tuna here at CITES in Doha. Um, it was a bloodbath. It was an ambush. It was kind of a Matanza uh, kind of experience. Uh, it was an ambush by the fishing nations on the conservation nations. Uh, the conservation nations hadn't got their act together. Uh, the conservation nations wanted to get a cascade in favour of uh, CITES Appendix 1 listing for the bluefin, which would have banned international trade. What happened was exactly the reverse, was a cascade of nations speaking against a, a, a ban on bluefin. And um, I am extremely upset about this because I think it, the bluefin is unlikely uh, to be well managed as a result of this. Uh, I think that uh, it will be uh, reflect extremely poorly on the Spanish presidency of the EU, which has dithered for the last two months about how, whether it's going to support this at all, and instead of looking forward to the kind of difficulties you would have at this meeting. I think it shows total incompetence by the EU, frankly, uh, as to deciding what its position actually was. And I think this will be, you know, fairly disastrous for the bluefin. I think what the environmentalists would, will do is uh, focus their attentions on ICAT now, uh, which has not been a, a competent management body, and I think they will uh, take out their ire on some of the nations who have, frankly, uh, dissembled in this debate by saying that ICAT is a competent body. There are a lot of people around the world who seem to have been got at by somebody, and I think it's Japan, uh, who have persuaded uh, nations in Africa, nations in Arabia, uh, that ICAT is competent when it clearly isn't. 